Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett, and today we are going to be talking about the new Creality SLA printer. And it's called the LD-002R, which is a ridiculous name, so I will not be calling it that. I will just be referring to it as the 2R from now on. So, as with most printers, the most important point is the price. So, um, it clocks in right at about uh, 270, 280 USD, which um, is pretty much on par with the the Elegu Mars. The original Elegu Mars is a little bit cheaper. I think that's around like 250 and then the Pro is right around 300 So it's right in that sweet spot. And so it, it would be pretty hard to do this review without comparing it to the Elegu a little bit. So I'll be doing a little bit of that, but I'm mostly going to talk about how this printer is on its own. So as far as the unboxing and setup go, uh, it was very easy to do. It comes pre-assembled so you don't have to put anything together. Um, it comes with the typical goodies that usually come with a resin printer. A few pairs of gloves, masks, um, a spatula, thumb drives, test prints, uh, resin filters. They also included an extra FEP sheet, um, which is really nice to have on hand. This printer has the pretty typical at this point um, quick leveling system where it basically just you unscrew four screws around the build plate, it lowers it into the vat and then you screw them back in so it's leveled for you. And I guess you're not really lowering it into the vat, you lower it to the screen and then level it. It runs with a 2K resolution screen comparable to most of the other printers, resin printers in this price point. Speed is 20 to 30 millimeters per hour, the printing volume is in millimeters, 119 by 65 by 160. So uh, extremely close to the Elegoo. And I should specify Elegoo Mars because they have a Saturn now. So the Mars is what, if I'm saying Elegoo in this video, I'm talking about the Mars. And they do have a form of air purification. They have a small box at the rear of the print chamber that contains a pouch of activated carbon. This should stop some of the resin fumes from leaking out of the chamber. There's also a double fan system to keep the air circulating. And it does a pretty good job as far as we can tell. Um, all we ever use on these things is Soraya Tech resin, which has a pretty low um, odor in the first place. So we're not really sure how well it works with some of the super smelly resins out there. But in our test, it's been really good. There's also a pretty nice feature on the vat. There's lines on the back of it. And this helps to show you how much resin you have left in the bag. This printer also uses Cheeto Box, and Cheeto Box is really easy to use. Um, it's it's honestly made a huge change in the resin printing space. It's made it a lot easier, and it continues to get better over time. And they also have a profile ready to go for the 2R, so you should just be able to select that, and you'll be away printing. Overall, it seems like a very solidly built machine. So as far as our thoughts on whether or not you should get this printer. Honestly, it's a very solid choice when stacked up against the, the Elegoos. It's a little bit more expensive than the regular Elegoo Mars, but it's um, a little bit cheaper than the Mars Pro. But in our experience, we've had zero issues with it. We kind of just turned it on and then we were off and running. We, we printed for close to 200 hours um, and just straight printing. There wasn't a lot of time in between prints and it just worked, which is really nice to see. And it's kind of what we expect at printer at resin printers at this price point now. So it absolutely lives up to that.
So this is another solid option in the cheap resin 3D printing space, and I don't think you'll be disappointed if you pick one up. So if you want to check this printer out for yourself, we have our Amazon affiliate link down in the description. Also, um, if with all of our resin printers, we've pretty much only used Soraya Tech, and it works absolutely amazingly, and it has very little odor, like I mentioned before. It's just great resin. Um, so if you are interested in that, we will have links down there as well. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Um, let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Um, let me know if you've had any experience with this printer or if you're interested in it. I know resin printing has gotten quite a bit bigger and there's a lot more people out there doing it because it's so much more accessible now. But I'm still very interested to see um, which way people go with their printer choices and things like that. And while you're at it, if you're looking for some awesome, if I do say so myself, models to print on your resin printers, you can check out our Patreon. We have all of our models over there. Um, I will have that linked in the description. That Patreon is how we keep our channel going, so it's much appreciated. All right, well, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, keep creating.